In this video, we are going to learn the simplest workflow for inpainting with the Flux model. You can even apply this workflow with the Goof models, which I taught you in my previous videos how to download and install the optimized Goof models for Flux on your PC, allowing you to run Flux much faster and achieve incredible quality. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do inpainting with the powerful Flux model using a very simple workflow so that we can get rid of the complex workflows that are out there on the internet and have a much simpler one that works really well. You can easily use this to, for example, change the clothes of your subject, alter their hairstyle, or change the color of their clothes, or whatever else you want to inpaint. You can make changes to your photo using a simple brush. We will build it step by step, so follow along with me to create this workflow for yourself. To create this workflow, we need to install four custom nodes. If you haven't installed Comfy UI on your system yet and are watching this video for the first time, go and watch the previous video where I showed how to install Comfy UI on your personal system and set it up easily. Watch that video for the Comfy UI installation guide. Once you're inside your Comfy UI, you come here and click the manager and from this section, click the custom nodes manager. In the search bar, first I search for Comfy UI Impact Pack. The first custom node that you need to install is Comfy UI Impact Pack. If you haven't installed it yet, you will see an install button like this. Click on install, it will install it, but we won't restart yet. Next, we move on the second custom node. Here you type KJ nodes and install this custom node as well. Click install and wait for it to finish. The third custom node is RG3. You will need to install this custom node too. RG3 Comfy UI node. And lastly, GGUF, which I've already mentioned in the previous videos, but I mentioned it again here. Make sure to watch that video and then come back to this one. You will need to install this custom node too. After installation of these nodes, you will close this, restart your Comfy UI, and wait for everything necessary to download. It may take a bit longer. Comfy UI will reload once again. When you are back inside, just click on Clear and then OK to completely clear your workflow. Now double click on the screen and we will create the first node Unit Loader. Select Unit Loader GGUF and place it here. Then double click on the screen again and search for Dual Clip Loader GGUF, this one. Guys, you can also use the default Flux models for this workflow, but I'm showing you with the GGUF models, which are more optimized and faster. If you want, you can swap them and use the default loaders of the Flux models for this workflow. But if your system is weaker, I recommend using Goof models. By weaker, I mean if your GPU has 12 gigabytes of VRAM or less. So if you have 12 gigabytes or less, definitely use these models. Now again, double click and search for clip text encode so that we can write a prompt with it. Again, double click and now search for load VAE from here and place it here. For the next one, we search for flux guidance so that we can assign CFG to our flux model. For the next one, we search for load and resize image to provide an image for inpainting. The next node we select is Gaussian Blur Mask. This allows us to apply a mask and soften the edges around our subject, making them less harsh. For the next one, we select inpaint model conditioning. And for the next one, we open basic scheduler to determine the number of steps. For the next one, we choose K sampler. We use this sampler to specify our sampler. If you have found the video helpful so far, please like it to support the channel. It's just a start and I have great plans for tutorials on this channel. A like and share with one of your friends would really energize me. Share it even if your friend might not necessarily need the video. If they do need it, even better. For the next one, we choose Differential Diffusion, like this and here. For the next one, we choose Random Noise. We don't need this random noise. We need the one without a space between random and noise. Select that. 
then double click on the screen again to choose Sampler Custom Advanced. This is placed here. And for the next one, type VAE Decode and select that node. We also add Save Image Node to save the output. And finally, we add Comparer. Select this node, Image Comparer RG3, to compare the before and after images. Now that our workflow is ready, we just need to connect the nodes properly. It's really easy. Don't get overwhelmed. I first created all the nodes and now we'll connect them to make it easier. We'll start by connecting the model's output to the input. Just like that. Wherever there is a model input, we make the connection. For clip text, we connect it here. And for conditioning, we connect it there. The VAE is also here, and we connect it wherever it's needed. Don't get confused. Inputs are on the left and outputs are on the right. We have VAE input on the left and connect it to the output here and just here. Very easy. Here for the image and mask, we connect the output of the mask to this input. and connect the image from here to the pixels input. Now I have the model and I connect it from here as well. For the positive and negative, we simply connect conditioning to the positive and for the negative, we can leave an empty node. I'll grab this and place it here. We select clip text encode, right click and select collapse because we don't need the negative. It doesn't do much with flux. We just need to connect the node so it doesn't throw an error. Now we just need to connect the sigma from here. Oh, okay, I forgot to add this earlier. We also need add basic guider. I forgot about this one. So we place it here. We connect the model output to this input. And for conditioning, we connect positive to this and negative here, which has no output. Latent goes to latent image and random noise connects to noise. The guider is connected to the guider and the output here is connected to the sample while the image goes to the save image. It's that simple. We can also compare our result with the original image by connecting image A and image B for comparison. Now for the testing, I'll add an image for example, I'll add this image and start inpainting it. Just simply right click on the image and choose open in mask editor. It's super simple. You can scroll the mouse wheel to enlarge the brush. And if for example, I want to put a shirt on the subject, I just brush here. And I can go a little lower to make it look like a t-shirt. Then click save to notes. And next, write the prompt. I write this prompt, a muscular man with a slim body wearing a t-shirt. Now I can choose my models. As I mentioned in the previous videos, you can use the goof models. I've already explained how to download and place them into the appropriate folder. I won't repeat that here to avoid lengthening the video. Just choose your model. I'll choose Q4, which is faster. You can also select clip L, or the new text encoder that is more accurate and better at understanding prompts. I will provide a download link for this encoder and you can use it instead of clip L. My second model must be one of the goof models. So I'll use Q6 here. Now here for VAE, I select AE safe tensors. And for this node, there's no need to change anything. They should stay as default. After writing your prompt, adjust the flux guidance. This determines how much the prompt will affect the final image. And 3.5 is usually a good balance. You can increase or decrease it as needed. The higher the number, the more it adheres to your prompt. The lower, the more creative the AI will be. Set the blur to 10 pixels so that the brush's edges blend more smoothly and avoid the harsh result. Set the number of steps to 20 for the flux model. If you choose flux Schnell, you can lower it to four steps. Set denoise to one, and here select 
Randomize noise to introduce random noise. Set the sampler to either or you can use another sampler here, this one that has a brighter result. But I will leave it on Euler. Now we don't need any special changes, just click QPrompt to see the result. Oh, I forgot to connect this part. You need to connect the clip here. And I fix it now. Again, press the QPrompt and wait for the process to start. Okay, look at how amazing this turned out. We achieved such a good result and if you compare the two images, you will notice how well it executed the prompt, giving us a fantastic and clean output. You can edit as many times as you like. If you want to make another change to inpainting or the image, you can right click again and choose open in editor and here click clear, for example brush on the hair to generate another result. I hit the crew prompt. And now we have another hairstyle. It's not perfect, but you can keep adjusting it for better results. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next videos.